Hey, everybody. All right, I'm in the kitchen. I got my apron on. Who wears an apron? <laughs> I'm, I've am i got nice clothes on because I teach online in a couple hours, so I put my apron on. So I want to let you guys know, next Wednesday, July 31st, I'm going to be on a road trip for 30 days. And I'm going to be doing some camping. Yes, camping in a tent. We'll see how I do. Um, it's kind of funny because my husband and I, we used to, we used to RV a lot. And we actually full-time RV'd in a big 38-foot ditch wheel for a couple of years. And I had a beautiful island kitchen and everything. But as many of you know, my husband has passed away. And we had sold that big rig a couple of years ago. It was just too much for him. But... I love the mountains, and so I have friends, and I have branches in Utah. I have friends in Oregon. I have a grand, a daughter in Oregon, and I have friends in Northern California. So I'm leaving Texas next Wednesday, and I'll be stomping in Roswell, New Mexico first, by saying the much. Um, and I have a little doggy with me. Gus, say hi. Gus, hi. <laughs> So, um, he's going to have fun camping anyway. And so you guys can follow me. I am going to be talking and posting and doing videos and I don't know where I'm going to have cell reception at, but anyway, the first uh, night will be in Roswell. Second night will be in New Mexico, but Northern New Mexico up outside of Albuquerque. I'll be camping. And then I'm um, further on. I'm going to be up in Utah the next night and camping. So I am making food to take with me because I don't want to have to cook up very much. I have a little camp stove, um, but I just want to be able to throw something in a pot and heat it up. So today I'm making stew, and I thought it would taste so good, because you know what, it's a lot colder up there at 7,000 feet than it is here in Texas right now. And I don't know about you guys, but I love stew. It's just, it's just a warming, I don't know, comfort food, right? And I usually do it there in the winter, but I'm doing it here in the summertime, so I can take it with me. Um, but I am using some of my bone broth that I made. So how many of you guys can? So I made bone broth. Um, this bone broth was uh, in December. I made this in December. And I have, gosh, about six quarts of bone broth. And I'm going to put that in my stew. i got my meat all browned here. Still need to put potatoes and carrots and onions in there. But I'm going to use this bone broth. And, of course, bone broth, you know, the benefits to bone broth are wonderful because of the collagen in the bone broth. And it's just so much better than putting it like a can of beef broth that you buy at the grocery store. And so it's so nourishing. So I just, I love making uh, food from scratch. The meat is grass-fed beef. And we had bought a quarter of a grass-fed beef last fall. And so I'm working my way through that. This is the last stew that I had. And I just want to give you guys an FYI on grass-fed beef. It's expensive at the grocery store. Um, very pricey at the grocery store. So we went to, we, I asked around at my church and actually one of the ladies said, hey, there's a butcher over in this little tiny town. And I'm not kidding you, it's a little tiny town. Um, so I called him up and I said, do you do quarter of a beef? Because most of the time they only do a half. And he said, yeah, we find somebody to share it with you. Uh, so he said, just, you know, give me some time. And about a month later, he called me, hey, I've got somebody who wants to share a half with you. And so we picked out the cuts that we wanted and it came out cut and wrapped to $7 a pound. That is unbelievable for grass of beef. Now that's ground beef, but also steaks and also roast and of course stew meat. Um, and so it, it really is a quite a bargain. So, you know, if you are interested in grass fed beef, look for a butcher uh, and see if somebody will maybe do a quarter and a quarter of a beef for, for two people was a lot. I mean, I got like 25 pounds of ground beef, so it was a lot. So we did certainly didn't need a half a half. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I love it. Uh, I made my bone broth with my bones that I got from that grass fed beef. And so I've got like six quarts of bone broth and I still have bones in the freezer so I can make some more bone broth. And I use it in soups and bases like minestrone soup, you know, lentil soup, things like that. I'll make it as a base for that. So I would really encourage you if you, if you want to eat grass of beef, which I highly recommend, it's far better than factory farmed beef, right? Because they're feeding a lot of grains and they're in the factory farm stump, right? Anyway, I will keep you guys posted on my trip starting next Wednesday. Um, you'll have a video log of me. Uh, we'll see how I do camping. All right, you guys, have a great day. And if you want more tips like this, make sure and follow me on Divine Farmer Health.